Hey guys, Kevin Stark, Realty One Group. Hey, I want to do round two of should you buy a house now? Let's just kind of recap where we're at. So we're coming out of 14 years of underbuilt single family homes based off the Census Bureau. So remember the market went up 2005, six crashed, fell down. Builders, developers stopped building anything, especially single family homes. Meanwhile, population went up, supply dropped in the homes because they weren't building them the level that they should have been. So we are still down on supply on a national level. Currently here inside the Phoenix Valley, Let's look where we're at. Inside the loops, the 101 loop, the 202 loop, inside the loops, the inner part of the valley, supply and demand are both down about 35 to 40%, creating a balanced, a balanced market, one in, one out. That's where we're seeing a lot of the slowdown. This is not a crash, this is a correction. Correction is the proper term to be using in today's real estate market, no crashing. Notice of defaults, foreclosures, things like that are not going up uh, you know, astronomically any more than out of the norm that they could be just for the population of where we're at. So this is not a crash, this is a correction. Leads to the question of should you buy now? Ultimately, yes, interest rates are up, but a lot of lenders have options that they're advertising of a 2-1 buy down where you can have the seller provide concessions to be able to buy down your rate 2% for the first year, 1% for the second year, and then it goes to the normal rate after that. However, during that time frame, what do you think the odds are of interest rates coming back down where you can refinance and lock in at a solid lower interest rate? Probably pretty good. Ultimately, right now you have more options because supply and demand is more balanced. You can take the time, really shop, get what you need, kind of find what you may have sacrificed a year or two ago, right? There's more room for negotiations. More room for seller concessions, for sellers to help out with the sale, and they're more willing. They need to sell, they wanna sell, they wanna be the one that helps the buyer move forward and just create a win-win. So ultimately, you have more leverage and you're creating less liquidity. More leverage, less money out of pocket, which a year ago, you were creating a lot of money out of pocket, investments, everything. You just had a ton of liquidity to be able to lock in the house you wanted. So should you buy now? Yes, it now is still a great time to buy because ultimately, as this starts to correct out, you know, you gotta think, ultimately interest rates start dropping down a bit, people start getting back in the market, supply goes down, demand goes up, all of a sudden we're back in a little bit of a competition that you don't have to battle with so much right now. Now you can take your time and really get what you like and still get great rates and great options. Hope this answers some questions you have. Let me know of any questions on your specific area.